Thanks, Joe, and we really appreciate you sticking around after the game tonight. I know it was a long one, and I'm, I'm proud of these guys for both of their feet. I think you guys have gotten a sense that this is a special group of baseball players, but they're a special group of guys as well. And, uh, you know, the guys that are here are, are here because faith is important to them. And uh, we don't have time to hear from everybody tonight, but I thought it might be good for you to get to know Jay and Mark Melanchon a little better tonight. I'm going to ask you some questions about the big faith. And uh, I'm trying to get used to this echo with the microphone. Joe's a pro. Um, but uh, we'll deal with it, right, guys? First of all, um, you know, Mark, uh, baseball player, can you think of one high point, something that really jumps out at you that you said, boy, that was just a great moment? Last <laughs> this is my fourth team in four years, so I've traveled the country, and uh, last night was was a highlight of my career for sure. Having all the crowd here. Yeah, you've had a number of great highlights this, this year. And they're going to keep on going here. How about you, Jay? Maybe a little tougher question. You had a long, great career in Pittsburgh. I think we'll always remember him as a bucko, but had some great years with some other teams. Is, is there a moment in your career that really jumps out at you? I think from a uh, from a spiritual standpoint, probably a, a moment back in 1996 really jumps out at me. It wasn't. Uh, it was my last year here in Pittsburgh. It wasn't uh, uh, an auspicious time for us as uh, as hard fans or players. Uh, we you know, won those three years in 1991, 92, but uh, it started going downhill from there. And in 96, I really had a tough time, a tough year, and. Uh, uh, about halfway through the season, near uh, near the first of uh, near the first of August or so, I was hitting about 220 and, and uh, really had a tough tough time. I remember hitting the ground ball to second base, uh, hitting first uh, hitting first base after getting thrown out. Turned around, running down into the dugout, down to the bathroom downstairs, looking in the mirror and said, "Lord, I can't do this anymore." So I really had a tough time with it. And, and, uh, I said, I just need you to show me what you need me to know. And uh, during that period of time, she really uh, kind of revealed to me one of the things that I needed to do. I needed to start uh, looking at myself a little bit less and uh, start to look at my teammates a little bit more. And I really, uh, from that point on, was, uh, was the, uh, the point in my career where I started uh, really paying attention to my teammates and, and uh, being a little more self uh, selfish, trying to be selfless, and uh, uh, there's probably, it, 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 during that period of time, during that bad period of time, was probably the moment in my career that I started enjoying the game more for uh, the game itself. So.